Hi guys, long time no see. I've just been too busy working and I just haven't had time because I've had to work, go back to work on a Sunday. I'm not, I've only got Saturday off and I just haven't had time to come underground. But luckily I'm going back to work tomorrow so I can come underground today and make a nice little video hopefully. Anyway, today I'm in Aberchen, lead mine. And at the moment I'm at the bottom level. At the mill level. And as you can see all I don't know if uh, this was the drainage had it that fed water to the mills or if it's further along. There's some other structures that are left. I'm currently walking up the old tramway probably. Because that version was all gravity driven. They tip the ore in at the top and let gravity work its magic. And all the ore would just go all the way down. Even in the mines they tip it on the higher levels, let the ore shoots do the work, bring it down to the lower levels, and then down to the mills. And apparently at the mills, I'll see if I can got time to see them later on. There's some jigging, there's a jigging floor, buddles, there's all sorts of the mills quite well preserved apparently. In a lovely location, you've got a steep valley down there with a river that probably fed all the water wheels in the mines. And these steep slopes, which are very tiring. Here's one of the lower adits, which we've just blocked up. I'm sure. Around this way, there's another adit here. But I'm gonna go in at one of the, I think level three. Yeah, this is another adit here. Oops, I'm in my trainers and I'm walking through this wet, murky water. Oh yeah, nice air conditioned breeze over mine. Oh look, it's open. Nice little gate on that. Uh, we are, I've been in here with Ivor a while back. I can't remember if it goes to a collapse or what. But we did go in it. But if I've got time, I'll probably go in it on the way down. I didn't know that. This one's blocked off. Uh, yeah, these lower adits are a bit dodgy because the farmer uses the water for his caravan pack. And he goes really angry if the water turns ochre orange. So it's best to avoid the bottom levels unless you want the farmer chasing you with a shotgun like he's known to do in the past. Yeah, my torch switched it itself on in my bag a couple of weeks ago and it was on turbo, melted everything in my bag and it's cracked the screen, I cracked the lens, but luckily it still works. So I'll have to buy a new torch soon. Eh? Well, I've already seen the new one that I'm going to buy, the MR90. But uh, at least it still works, like. So, and Immolent says it's a discontinued torch, so we don't have any lenses for it. Although it's under warranty. Right, yeah, I'm sweating like mad coming up this hill. Right, I'm going to get changed and I'll see you inside. Right, I'm at the added entrance. The level 3 added. A bit of a slide to get in. You just have a nice bricked up portal. So I'll see you when I get in. Right, I'm finally in 
inside the portal. We had it. Got a nice bricked up entrance. So here we go. It's a bit low here. in here. Nice drop down. Timber tunnel. I went into one big stoping area already. open loads of calcite and iron yeah this mine was first worked in 1860 by Drummond and Mond and then I think they worked the mine until about 1902 or something like that although it's called Aberdeen lead mine it wasn't actually mined for lead it was mined for zinc ore Uh, so, no lead really was found in here, just zinc. But the colours in here are amazing. We've got a lot of drops and... and it's very picturesque, mine. Go through these timbers. What? Another drop here, is there? Oh, don't be falling down there. Ah, oh, there's a lot of nice timber tunnels in this mine. Be careful, uh, put your foot in. Not on loose planks, anyway. Yeah, the mine was worked on seven levels. And I think I'm in level three now. And I think you can access about all oh, but level seven. But you need ropes to get to the lower, lower levels, which I haven't got with me because I a big heavy piece of steel fell on my leg in work and my ankles bust. So I don't really want to be climbing. Oh, you see, I can't help hurting it even more. Let's get a photo of this.
a lot of side tunnels, but a lot of them just go to dead ends. First oh shoot. Even scrambling over tin because it's hurting me really cool. Wow. Uh, I do apologize for not uploading a video for weeks. I feel really bad, you know, once I've started growing my channel, people enjoying my videos and then once you start not producing videos, then your channel seems to shrink. People forget about it, you get no new subscribers. But I only do it for the love of it anyway, it's just a bonus. All the subscribers and... I wasn't expecting to get so many. Ah, look, gone down the dead end there, typical numpty. Right, back to where I started before that dead end. Ah, yeah, this is where the first wall shoot is. I knew it was on the corner. These timbers are lovely. There's a first oil shoot. Yeah, oh, I was always tipped in for the higher levels. Like, let like gravity bring everything down. Still there. This is not too steep, so I'll see if I can climb up it later. Yeah? I might be able to manage that on my ankle. But there is a steep man with winds where there's an old wooden wheelbarrow, but you've got to climb up it. And I don't think I'm going to be able to manage that with my ankle, which is a shame because the wooden wheelbarrow is totally intact. in here man. Right. This ladder here, which I'll go down the Whoa, I nearly went down the out the ladder. Shit. I nearly went down without the ladder then. Because right. I'm unstable on my ankle, so I'm a bit daft coming in here to be honest. Uh, but I couldn't, I relaxed all yesterday, just can't do two days relaxing. Especially when I had a day off, an extra day off, you know, a Sunday, I didn't want to waste it because I haven't been underground to do a video. You know, I've been underground taking people to different mines, but when I'm taking people around, I can't really do a video. But I didn't want to waste another day off. There's a shaft here. Oh, look at colors here. I'm 
I'll drill a bit. Full of rocks and me being unstable in my ankle. I don't want to be going flying into this ochre water. Right. There's a ladder up there. From an old ladder, timber ladder. You can just see where my torch is flashing. You can see it from the level above a bit better. Oops. Oh. Now we've been up here, though. It just goes to a drop and a dead end. How you get to it this way, actually. waste and big boulders hanging on by that rotten timber. Well, if this timber gives way, I'm not coming out. Best not to think of things like that. I just go. It's a big old shoot. It's 
just love the timbers and it's my hair. Beautiful. An old ladder. There's that shut go on the ore shoot to close it. Yeah, I've got my phone stabiliser with me today, so I'll hopefully smooth the videos. Alright. I wonder if you can guess what this is. Tools, isn't it? To keep tools back. Can you guess what this is? That is a miner's toilet. They probably put a bucket inside it, and that's where they're doing their business. Where the wooden wheelbarrow is. Oops. The wooden wheelbarrow's up there. And I'm in no fit state to climb it with my leg. But I'm sure I've got a video somewhere on this channel, left earlier on. Where it's got the wheelbarrow in it, it's proper intact, it's got its wheel and everything. Oh, I just wish I could climb it, but I just can't with my ankle. I know I just can't put any weights on it, it's decent enough to climb, and I don't want to be falling down here. Down, I'm fucking breaking my leg, even worse. Because nobody, only Ivor knows I'm here. And nobody would find me until maybe tomorrow when they realise I'm missing. I think he's just dead end still here. Have a quick look at it because these tunnels are uh, uh, the ones lower down the ladder that are really picturesque. Uh, like tiger tunnels. But it's nice and cool, it's cooling me down the nice cool air, so... Let's see what's here. Oh, there's another toilet. I knew there's something else down there. So, another miner's toilet. Another drive there. Wow, 
Uh, it's a mad noise, like a... I don't know if it's my torch. It's in the rock, listen. I'm getting out of it. That didn't sound good. That, wow! I'm going to listen to this back just to see if I can hear it. Wow, I've actually listened to that recording back. And it picks whatever that buzzing sound, it picks it up. On my, on my recording, I've never ever heard anything like that in my life. The only explanation I could think of is water maybe squeezing through the rock but you know and you know sometimes taps do funny noises don't they like but um, when they're for you know water trying to force through little holes so as I heard that but you know I was sounding more like electric like an electrical buzz it was mad anyway who knows maybe the couple of night are real So if anyone has got any suggestions what that noise was, because you can clearly hear it in the video. I, I soon got from there pretty sharpish, just in case it was water forcing through and the whole rock's gonna give way. Wow. Never heard anything like that in my life before. Very eerie. Back at the ladder. So, time to go down, I think. I just have to keep my big torch in my pocket. Just hope it doesn't switch itself on. I'm climbing down. Should take my thumb stabilizer off really too. And I put the phone off really because you want to see me struggling on the ladder. I was a wrong missing somewhere. Let's see if I can put this off. I made it down the ladder with a few rungs missing. We got two large ore shoots, a nice timbers. But first, I'll go down the nice the tiger tunnel. This is a dead end, but it's worth going down because of the colours. There's a few water shoots. Caramel ice cream. Wow, oh, 
colour, it's amazing, isn't it? And a nice oh sheet, still with its timber cladding to stop the all falling lid out and to funnel it down. I think, but I can't remember. No, it collapsed. Right. Back the other way then. I've got to climb up this all shook now. Get to the other part is collapsed this way. That's an artifact. Old tools. I've left my phone stabilizer. In my bag, it's just a bit easier to manage climbing up all shoots on it. So I apologise for shaky footage from now on, but I'll try and walk as slow as possible. There's another all shoot. Don't want to be falling down it. Old mine cart, I think, over there. And then, it's probably explosives boxes in with a toolbox. Drill bit. Now you can climb up there. Walk on the top. Yeah, that as well. Be as careful as I can. I'm a, on a false floor now, so I've got to be really careful. Yeah, a mine car. Lost its chassis. Oh, it's a timber mine cart as well, is it? Yeah, so very old. That's what we've left in. Wow. Okay, have a look at this way. I don't think you can get down. Oh, I if there might be a little squeeze somewhere to get down. I think we've got to turn back. Oh no, can't go that way. Ow. Got up too soon, damn you, that killed. Stuck on this false floor, can't really go down anywhere. I think you can walk along the ledge up there and down along the ledge up there from the level above. I'm sure you can. So I'm not going to bother climbing up there just in case you can. Oh. 
Так, сюда, сюда, вот сюда. Washington's in this level then. And it splits on. I think you go round this, I'll go round this way and come out to the back of the to the lower level. You need to abseil down to be honest. Look someone has left the anchor point. Oh, his timbers are brilliant. So that's what we used to do. Whatever level they, they work on, they just drop the ore down level by level. And let gravity do its thing. This goes out. Yeah, this just carries on and it goes out. Let's have a quick look at the timber tunnels. See what's on here. False floor, can't even go down. Put my phone on vivid colours just to see the difference. Wow. Looks good enough to eat. But just goes out that way. So I think it's back up to the upper level and then see if I can get up to the higher level if I can climb the rope if my leg will hold on. Okay I just put my foot in a puddle and it splashed, splashed mud all the way up me. Uh, uh, and I got dropped off by In, at the in bed house, like it, and I walked up the chin, like, and I said, "Rather, right, he comes to pick me up. I'll catch a train back and look at the state of me catching a train like this. I have no idea what the people think of me. I've got trainers with me, like, so I can put my wellies in the bag. Well, oh, look at the clothes. 
Right. I've had to spend the last 10 minutes cleaning my torch. When I jumped down off his horseshoe, my torch fell out my pocket and it landed squelching that mud there and it was caked. So I've had to spend the last 10 minutes trying to clean it. Get all the mud out of all the air holes. Get the state on me. Good deal. I'm meant to be going on public transport. I'll catch a train back. Oh, wow. Things I do for shonky tours, eh? Lunatic. Back up the ladder. I just pause for a photo on this little ledge. Handy ledge for my torch. Glad it didn't fall. Back up the ladder, save. This little, little crowbar. Wow. Stopes are huge. That's where I was in the middle. So yeah, I was right, you could climb up here. There's another shoot where they probably shoot all the ore down. Or bin. It's like a face look, two eyes and a mouth. Right. Yeah, so you could have climbed up from the lower level where I instead of using a ladder. Yeah, it's more sensible to use a ladder. And climb up that. You know it's not too difficult of a climb. So here's a little shortcut down to the minecart. Every step on these loose rocks just kills my ankle. I'll walk around this ledge you now, I have to be careful I don't fall. There's a big drop down there. Oops, that's what would happen to me if I was slipped. Now I can see it from below. Oh, fucking lovely mine, this is it's unique. Yeah, not many mines are like this. We've got nice little walkways and so picturesque. And there's that mine card. To do. Why did you climb up this rope or what? There's a few. I don't know if you can see daylight from above, like. 